Hello, today I'm going to be talking about Snort and how you can set up a network intrusion detection system for your home network. Uh, the topics we will be going over in this uh, small course is what is Snort, intrusion detection systems, and setting up a NIDS Snort Ubuntu, with Ubuntu. Uh, we're going to go over Snort configurations and creating Snort rules. So what is Snort? Snort is a open source network intrusion detection and prevention system that you can use to monitor network traffic. It can be used in real time for traffic monitoring, protocol analysis, content matching, and OS fingerprinting. There are a few different things intrusion detection systems can do. They can uh, it detect intrusions in your network, they can be set up on your host computer, they can detect signature based detection, so certain patterns or protocols that might occur they can detect those and then anom anomaly based detection is detecting things that are outside of the normal uh, processes for your network. Two main type of intrusion detection systems are HIDS and NIDS. So HIDS is a host intrusion detection systems and they're installed on your host computer. They can be used to monitor for malicious activities on a host system. And then we have the NIDS which we'll be setting up today. Uh, this can be used to monitor your organization's network or also your home network. So we'll be installing Snort with Ubuntu and yeah, let's go ahead and get into the installation. So the initial requirements that we are going to need is Ubuntu and Oracle VM if you want to set this up on your computer. And once we get that uh, Ubuntu installed through the VM, we're going to install VS Code and Snort. If you want to set up Ubuntu Jellyfish on your uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, during your setup you also want to set up, uh, run this command uh, on your Raspberry Pi setup. If you're going to set it up on your local computer, you want to use these settings to allow promiscuous mode. Another thing to mention is while you're setting up your Snort, and we want to do this for the home network, so these are common home network IPs that will be uh, you can look into. Uh, you can try and figure out what your home network IP is. If you're you can do this through certain commands like IP config or IF config. So if you run that on your computer, you should be able to find out what your uh, home's network IP is. All right. So the things you're gonna need to get this set up is we're gonna need VirtualBox from Oracle. So you can, all the download and links are going to be in the description of this video, so you can find these links there. But you're going to need VirtualBox to download for whatever host you're using. And then once you get VirtualBox downloaded, you want to download the ISO image for Ubuntu. And you can get that from Download Ubuntu Desktop. And we're going to be using the Jellyfish version for that. Uh, another good tool that you can use to uh, see how many uh, subnets you want to cover. Uh, you can use this to input your home network and then you can check how many bits you want to cover. So for this example, I'm going to be doing this range. And so we're going to have this many hosts that we can cover. But you can extend upon that. So I could change this to 20. And we're going to get more hosts that we're going to look into in the network. And if I change this to 8 here, so on and so forth. Once you get VirtualBox installed, uh, you'll be able to open a GUI that looks similar to this. And you'll also want to save that Ubuntu ISO image in a location that you can get to. So for me, I put it in my uh, D drive with the virtual machines. So we got the ISO here. 
Now, what we want to do is create a new VM for Ubuntu. And so I'm going to call this Ubuntu Snort Demo. And the folder it's going to be dropped off in, I'm going to choose a specific location. Uh, virtual box select and now we want to grab that ISO image we downloaded from Ubuntu so one thing we want to do for this setup is we want to click on skip unattended installation so we don't make a, a guess OS and for this VM, I'm just going to set up some of the base memory. Two processors. Next. We'll set the hard disk to 25 gigabytes. Next. And then finish. OK, so now that we have this VM configured, let's go into settings to add a little bit more stuff. So I'm going to right click on the VM, go to settings, and then go to in the general, I'm going to go to the advanced tab, and then for shared clipboard, I'm going to set bidirectional, drag and drop bidirectional. This will allow us to copy stuff from our host computer to this VM. Another thing I'm going to do is change the network. So you either want to set up a nat network but for now I'm just going to use the bridge adapter and then I'm going to do allow all in promiscuous mode now we have the VM Ubuntu is ready so I'm going to start it up and to make this easier to read I'll set this to scaled mode And we're going to select the try or install Ubuntu. So Ubuntu, now we're going to just install Ubuntu. And we're going to select our language preferences. So I'm going to set the defaults for now. Continue. And then we're just going to keep it at the default. OK, so we're just going to, yeah, everything's going to be default. We have, this is a VM, so there's nothing in there. So here it's uh, partitioning the disk. And now we are going to set the location and the name of the computer. So the name of the computer, I'm just going to keep it simple, snort. And then you can choose your own password to use. And then I'll just say require my password and login. Continue. Now it's going to go ahead and start the installation process. So we'll let it do that. Okay, when the installation completes, we need to restart the VM, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So when it gets to this stage, remove the installation medium and then press enter. What I like to do here is just uh, power off the machine. And then just double check everything's good. We'll go ahead and run it again. All right. Okay, it looks like the system's booting up. All right, so I'll go ahead and log in here. Okay. So now it's going to ask us if we want to set up the account. We're just going to skip this part. We're going to skip this as well. 
And if you want to send messages on system info to Ubuntu, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll just click next on this one. And then now that we're ready to go, we want to open this software so we can install VS Code. Okay, so we're in the software store. Here we want to find VS Code. I'm gonna run the software updates in the background as well. So yeah, you just search code and you should find it down here. You can also use Sublime Text if you want to. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using VS Code. Uh, I think an easier way you might be able to search it is Visual There we go. So if we search Visual Studio Code, it should pop up. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Okay, so we got VS Code installing and we also have the updates running in the background. Once both these are done, we can move on to the next phase. Okay, once the updates are done, you're going to need to restart the virtual machine again. So I'm going to run that. Alright, so our virtual machine is ready to go. Just for good measure, I am going to run a sudo app git update. And then we also want to sudo app install net tools. And net tools is going to allow us to run commands like ifconfig. So if you want to figure out your home network, you can run ifconfig on your computer right now, and it should give you some details. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and install Snort, and this is going to be Snort version 2. I know there's a version 3 out, and maybe I will look into setting up Snort version 3 sometime in the future. But for now, what we're going to do is run this sudo app git install Snort, and then dash yes. When you're setting up Snort, it's going to ask you to configure the local network. Uh, and for this example, we're going to use 10.0.0.0.24. OK. And one thing you want to pay attention to is this enpos3 because you will use it for certain commands you might get a different variable for your computer and now we want to validate that snort is installed onto ubuntu so what you can do is run this command snort dash dash version if this command works you should see snort come up here and we should be good to go now we're going to look into configuring Snort and looking into the Snort configurations. So I'll see you in that video.